What is good and welcome back to Chat and Reacts and today's video is Meet the Greatest Return Man of All Time. Thank you very much for Jason Brown for recommending me this one. Of course, if you want me to check out any videos or any specific players, let me know down in the comments. Now, Meet the Greatest Return Man. I'm assuming Return Man, I, I'll be honest, I don't know what it means, but I'm guessing, and it's quite an educated guess of my very little knowledge of NFL, is it's the person who's catching the ball after a punt, maybe. And I guess you have a specific player on your team. And this guy's the best at it. That's what I'm kind of getting from just the title. I could be really wrong. I could look like an idiot right now. And of course, if I'm right, make sure you're here and that subscribe button. Let's go. Video is brought to you by Squarespace. Whether you need a domain, website, or online store, can travel, it's extreme well. With how talented punters can be and the different ways that the ball can travel, it's extremely inconsistent. Sometimes Me the ball dies in the air. Hands. Sometimes it hooks off to the right or left, or it just keeps sailing because of the wind. And from the moment the ball is kicked, the return man has less than five seconds to track exactly where the ball is going to land, get to that location, and prepare to catch the ball. Oh, by the way, you can't just be looking up at the ball in the air and plan on being able to run. You have to have the ability to look down for a split second and track where the coverage unit's at. If they're too close, fair catch. If not, you have to catch the ball and instantly react. No one did this better than Devin Hester. Devin Anytime. Hester. He's ready. Just want to say I was right, so you do need to hit the subscribe button. That's the rules. Ready at the 35. Backs up to his own 30. Waits for a block. Here he comes again. <laughs> this time he danced back into trouble and back out again. Wow. Ah. Devin Hester had made a name for himself at the University of Miami. He was one of the few dudes who ever played all three phases of the game for the U. But more than anything, he stood out on special teams. What's interesting is Hester looked up to Deion Sanders more than any other player. Ironically, Deion played for Miami's rival, Florida State. But these two were actually pretty close. Deion even helped Devin out. Devin even adopted a similar nickname in tribute to primetime. They called him Anytime. What's amazing about Devin Hester was that he was projected to be drafted almost entirely on his returnability in college. The problem was that this was only a small portion of the game. To spend that high of a draft pick on just a return man, that's a pretty big risk. During the 2006 NFL Draft, the Tennessee Titans planned on drafting Hester in the second round, but they decided to stay away, thinking it was too much risk. The Chicago Bears, on the other hand, wanted Hester badly, and they decided to draft him in the second round of the NFL Draft. At yeah, the time, the Bears took a like lot that. of criticism from the fans and the media. Was this really the best they could do with that second round pick? For the fans who may have been upset at first, that quickly changed. Devin Hester from the 18. Kick. Not even close. And now Hester, after hesitating, he's going to run it out. He is going to go all the way. 40. Hester at the 45. Here's Devin Hester breaking a couple of tackles. Nuts. Only the kicker to beat. He can't do it. I mean, it makes sense why you'd want to draft him, though, because you got to think, even if he could only do it two, three times a game, and if he's getting just those extra yards every time or every couple times, or even occasionally getting the touchdown, surely it would make sense to get someone like this on your team. You want the best person you can have to be your return man, effectively. From the 10, break free in the open. Devin Hester, goodbye. He shut them up very quickly. Devin Hester at the five. Devin Hester with the ah, That's speed. Wow. Throughout Hester's record breaking rookie season, the Bears had been dominant and possessed the number one seed in the NFC playoffs. They marched right through the playoffs on their way to the Super Bowl. So here's the setting it's Super Bowl Sunday. The Bears versus the Colts. 
My family's getting ready to leave to a friend's house to go watch the game, but since we're running late, we haven't even left the house yet and the game is literally about to start. The Bears win the toss. They decide they want the ball first instead of getting it in the second half. That means the Colts have to kick to Devin Hester to start the Super Bowl. As the kicker is setting up the ball on the tee, my family had been waiting in the car to go. My dad and I decided that since we had already waited this long, we might as well just watch the opening kickoff before we leave, just on the small hope that Devin Hester might take this one back. The rookie who was so dangerous, who went to college here at Miami. He led the I'm gonna make a, a, a guess here. Either, well, two guesses doesn't really count. He either is gonna score or he gets injured. And that will suck. The NFC I feel like kickoff returns and punt returns. That's what's gonna happen. And the Colts have had a hard time all season covering kicks. It's Hester trying to work it back to the middle. Gets past the first wave, oh, and here he wow, goes. Wow. It's Hester inside the 30. Oh. Hester's going to take it all the way for a touchdown. <laughs> and no flag, 92 yards. Oh, that's fucking incredible. This single moment cemented his legacy to football fans everywhere. Literally, any time he gets the ball, he could take it to distance. <laughs> Whether he was playing football for Miami or playing in the Super Bowl, which happened to be in the same stadium that he played college in, he could very easily take it the distance. Unfortunately for the Bears, they didn't do much after that return and would go on to lose, oh. leading to Peyton Manning's first Super Bowl victory. So for any of you who have played Madden at any time in your lives, you would know that the maximum speed, strength, throw power, throw accuracy, whatever it was, is stopped at 99. One of my favorite things to do as a kid when I got the new Madden was to see who the fastest player was in the game. Usually it was a few guys up near 98 or 99, but in Madden 08, Devin Hester had a 100 speed rating. Hmm. This had never happened in the history of the game. Devin Hester had been so dominant, the developers didn't know what to do, so they felt this was fair. What huh. made Devin Hester so much better at returning kicks than any other player ever? So after I went back and looked at all his return touchdowns in his NFL career, his vision is off the charts. Once he sees a crease, he instantly reacts. Combine that with his choppy, quick-footed run style that allows him to make a cut at any moment. While being much quicker than most you of the coverage, the like, quick-footed run like, style he's brings, on his he instantly reacts. Combine like, that with his choppy, quick-footed run style that allows him to make a cut at any moment. While being much quicker than most of the coverage unit, it was a deadly combination. Devin Hester wasn't just some one-year wonder. He was consistently great over the course of his career. Dave with the plan, maybe late in the game, you give Mike Lennon some steps. But you don't make that decision, I don't think, Jim, this early. Kanan, beautiful punt. As Hester retreats to the field, and he's past everybody. Except the punter, and he breezes past him, and it's Devin Hester's night to high step. His 20th career return touchdown, the tribute to Deion Sanders with a high stepping as he got near the end zone. He passed the Sanders for the most return touchdowns in NFL history. And that man right there yeah. genuinely wanted you, and he prayed for you to break his records, mm -hmm. and he takes as much enjoyment out of watching you That's perform. True. That's true. Than, than you do. I'm, I'm gonna overcome with emotions right now because I told you I wouldn't do it, man. When you, I love you as a man, as a father, as a husband. Hey. I remember the beginning, man. I love you, dude. And I'm so proud of you, man. I'm so proud of you. And you know that. The Texas you give me, man, you might not think, you know, because I know you sent it to a couple guys, but I really appreciate that, man. I want to tell you that, man. you always been there for me, man, and I just, I look up to you, man. I really do, man. It's nice to see people do. be real, yeah. At age 34, and years from his last return touchdown, when it seemed like everyone had forgotten about Devin Hester, the Seattle Seahawks were in the playoffs and decided, why not? And they signed Devin Hester, who was a free agent at the time. This was his final game he ever played. One on one, <laughs> I'll take it, like just there in Seattle. Here's Hester gonna take it out from deep in the end zone. Hester, Devin Hester. 
What a return from the four. Special teams coach for the Seahawks. That exact question. He reminded everyone what he could do. I like that. Special teams touched on an NFL record with a penalty. Hester oh. is spinning. Looking for a seam. Devin Hester. It's like he knew it was his last game. He knew he had to go out of the bag. So I gotta ask you a question. Have you wanted to create a website to promote your work? But like me, you can't code and you Hey look, no offense to this guy, like unless Squarespace are paying me, they ain't they ain't getting an ad, I'm afraid. Look, what an incredible thank you very much for Jason Brown for recommending me that. Like he said I would like it. <laughs> and then I did. Wow. Wow, greatest return man of all time. Uh, the title wasn't a lie, it was a clickbait. That was absolutely incredible. Let me know what you think about that down below. And of course, there's any other specific players you want me checking on out. I can't wait for the new season to start. I don't even know when it starts. I think it's like, what, September. So we still got time. So we still got a lot of time to learn this game, really understand it. So when the season comes about, I have a pro like all you guys. So let me know down in the comments what you want me to see next. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. Hope you all have a great day. And peace.